Hey everybody, it's Brian at Summit Racing and I work in our private label department along with the rest of our team making really awesome parts. Uh, I do a lot of engine components. You may have heard of some of the ProLess cams and rods and pistons and cranks and valve train, Chevy Ford Chrysler, you name it. Uh, we wanted to take some of the things that we learned with ProLess and actually apply a lot of that technology to your basic small block Chevy flat tappet hydraulic cam. One of the big things about it is it's USA. The, the core is USA, high grade core. It's actually a better iron than is typically used. The Parker Rising line is awesome, so it's not a, you know, a lot of the overseas cores that are out there, you really don't know exactly what you're getting. So very fine quality control. And to finish it up, it is ground on a Landis 3LB grinder, which is super, super accurate finest machine that you can do to make camshafts. One of the big things is you may have heard of 4.7 swap cams. 4.7 basically is a conventional a conventional firing order is 18436572 and we basically swap, swap 4 and 7 so we changed the pairing of the 5 and 7 you know firing too close to each other and we move that up more towards the front of the cam. What does that do? If you can imagine that you have a timing chain up here and you have a double whammy of firing load all the way at the back of your cam you're actually applying a lot of twist to the cam when it's in operation. And the problem with that is you take all these valve timing events that we've carefully engineered and it's distorting it from front to back. So when you move that firing load toward the front of the engine uh, and to the timing chain, you get rid of a ton of twist out of the cam. When we move to join firing orders from cylinders five and seven, which are the furthest from the water pump to two and four, closer to the water pump, we remove hot spots in the combustion chamber that cause detonation. This helps head gasket life and reduces header gasket failures. The other thing about a lot of cams is you may be used to thinking in terms of duration at 50. Say a 232, 238 on a 108 plus two. That's okay, there is a reason why that exists. The better way to do it is actually to think in terms of valve events as we've done with Pro LS. So to do that, you basically create a full lineup of cams, but we start off with anything from a 204 at 50 the 212, 218, 228, 236, 242, 248, to 252. Now the other thing is you'll notice the lifts. Uh, hydraulic flat tappets have a tendency to go flat these days because they don't, they lack oil. Well, we fix that a lot just by having a really great break-in oil for you that is high zinc, so be sure to buy some of that when you're getting this cam. But the other things that we've done with this is, again, we've widened the lobes on it and the peaks of the nose of the cam. Anytime you get too much lift out of a short duration cam, you have a tendency to get peaky right there, and that is what can cause a cam to go flat. So we very carefully tune the lift to match the duration of the cam. So these are gonna have the least tendency to go flat out of any camshaft on the market. With that, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and have a good day.